Hi guys, we are going to start today in a child's pose. So come on down and kneel towards the back of your mat. Reach your arms long to the top of the mat. You are welcome to have your knees, thighs together or knees a little separate. I prefer my knees separate. And drop your forehead down between your arms. Let it rest on the mat. And if it doesn't quite reach the mat, go ahead and grab a book or something and slip it under your forehead for some support. Let's take a little rock of the hips side to side. Pull through the palms a few times down into the mat. Have a roll around in the rib cage, right to left, left to right. And then just for four or five breaths, settle into stillness. Let the breath come in and out through your nose. And feel it flood across the back of your body. Expanding the rib cage fully on each breath in. And allowing it to shrink back down to the exhale. Those familiar with an ujjayi breath may like to begin that now. And if you're not familiar with that, just long and deep in and out through the nose, maintaining a balanced breath. And just one more here. Your eyes can stay closed or eyes can open. As you inhale, drag your way up onto your all fours, dome your upper back, press back between the shoulder blades. Exhale, rock your weight forward, bend the elbows, little half press up. Inhale, back up. Exhale, child's pose, buttocks to heels. Again, inhale to your all fours, dome your back, rock forward. Exhale, half press up. Back up, breath in. Buttocks to heels, breath out. One more time. Inhale, up. Rock forward, half press up. Back up. Buttocks to heels, child's pose. Adding on from there, inhale, rock forward. Exhale, half press up. Tuck your toes under, and as you inhale, up dog with your knees, thighs floating off the mat. So be really careful to hug the low belly in. You can squeeze through the buttocks, pull the chest forward, maybe look up, one more breath here. Keep that low belly hugging in, bring chin to chest as you pike your hips up and back for downward facing dog. Readjust your feet to hip width apart, more or less. Spread the fingers really wide so you can see mat between each finger. And then just let the head be heavy for a moment. Take another two breaths here in your down dog. You're welcome to paddle out your legs if that feels good for you today. Last breath here. Begin to walk your hands back to meet your feet at the back of your yoga mat, Uttanasana, forward fold. Head can be heavy here, belly hugs in. Keep your 10 toes pointing forward, they don't change. And just start to walk both of your hands over to the left side of your mat. Draw your right hip back so you can Feel a stretch across the right waistline, right rib cage, and then maybe even tuck your chin to your left collarbone. Take a big breath in. As you exhale, walk your hands through center and all the way over to the right. Left hip draws back, chin towards right collarbone.
Big breath in. Exhale, hands to center. Right hand will stay down. Unpeel your left arm to the ceiling. Deep bend in your right knee. Left leg will be straight. Look up to your left hand as you twist. Option to stay here or wrap your left arm round your low back. It might even hold the inner right thigh. Take a big breath in here, twist deeper. Stay for your exhale. If you wrap the arm, breath in, arm to ceiling. Exhale, together we fold. Left hand stays down, halfway lift, right arm lifts, right leg straight, left bend. Again, option to wrap your right arm around your low back. You don't need to do that though. Take another breath in. Stay for the exhale, reach the crown forward. If you wrap the arm to your inhale, release it to the ceiling. Exhale, hand to mat, Uttanasana, let it go. Drive down into your feet, reach for the ceiling, Adva Hastasana as you roll up. Take the hands behind you, catch a bind at the back of the body. Interlace the fingers, narrow the shoulder blades, lift the sternum. You can look up. Take another full breath here, pull the fist away, open the front of the shoulders. Big breath in. Keep the bind, soften the knees, exhale to fold, tucking your chin towards your collarbones. Keep your bind as you come for a halfway lift. Crown reaches forward, belly hugs in. Stay in your halfway lift, weight your heels. Release the bind, reach the arms forward, palms shoulder width. Hold, another breath. Big breath in. Exhale to fold, hands to mat. Walk it forward, plank all the way. Palms just in front of your shoulders, so fingertips in line with the front of the shoulders. And you can drop your knees down to the mat any time here you like. This is going to get fairly challenging. Press into your right hand. Come to your left fingertips. Notice how your weight drops out to the right side. Try and reduce that. Option to stay, option to float your left hand and maybe reach your left arm back behind you in line with the side body. Hold one more breath. Left hand comes down, right fingertips to mat, lift the palm. Option to drop the knees down. Maybe you stay here, maybe you hover the right hand, maybe you reach it back behind you in line with the side body. One more breath. Right hand goes down. Good, float your right leg, one legged plank. Option to just stay here or add on left fingertips cup. Maybe left hand floats, this is super hard. Maybe it reaches back behind you, strong on the balance, pause. Hand comes down, foot comes down, other side. Left leg floats, maybe just stay. Or right fingertips, or right hand reaches back behind you. One side will always feel more stable, always feel stronger than the other. Hand down, foot down, hips up and back, downward facing dog. In your down dog, drop to your forearms. I want your elbows directly under your shoulders and then interlace your fingers to a bind. So the arms make a little bit of a triangle here. Look towards your hands. As you inhale, rock forward, tap your nose to your thumbs, use your tiptoes. As you exhale, press it back, dolphin. Three more times, inhale, tap nose. Exhale, take it back. Again, tap and back. Last one, tap and back. Release the bind of your hands, downward facing dog. Rock your weight forward into plank. Slow delivery, knees to the mat. Untuck your toes, child's pose. Reach your arms down by your sides. 
palms up, forehead to earth, just for a moment to soften the shoulders. Take one more breath here. As you inhale, drive down into the knees and the shins. Rise up for a high knee or reach your arms to the ceiling. Tuck your left toes. As you exhale, hands to heart. Step your right foot to the top of the mat. Sink the hips. Hands come down to the mat. Come off your left knee. Fingertip lunge. Three times, just pulse the hips up and down. Move with your breath here. One more time. As you inhale, squeeze the inner thighs, lift your hips up and back. Exhale into pyramid pose, bow. Inhale for a halfway lift, look forward. Ten toes to the left, to the long edge of the mat. Grab your ankles if you can or somewhere else in your legs if you can't, bow in. Halfway lift here, fingertips to mat, look forward. Ten toes to the back of your mat, easy twist. Right hand stays down, left unpeels to the sky. Going a bit slower first round so you can get the hang of this. Press down into your left foot, stay off your right knee. Lift the chest up, big open arm twist. Left hand back, right arm in front. You can bend that right knee a little. Flip your front palm, it's your right. Take the fingertips to the sky as the left hand drops to the back of the right thigh. Big breath in. Listen really carefully. As you exhale, it's a windmill of the arms. You will be turning your right toes to the front of your mat. Left toes long edge, right forearm to thigh. Left arm reaches overhead for side angle. If that's a little tricky, you can always pause and rewatch and try again. We'll do it a few times. As you inhale here, up and over, reverse your warrior, maintain your lunge. Exhale, windmill your hands to the mat. Three legged dog, right leg to the sky, no drag of your foot. Option right foot down and then plank or ripple forward, one legged plank. Chaturanga Dandasana, one-legged or two. Cobra or upward dog, flip both toes. Take it back, downward facing dog. Rock your weight forward into plank. Keep your toes tucked, knees to mat. Send your bum to your heels, toes tucked, child. Inhale, reach for the ceiling. Hands come down to heart, left foot comes forward, sink on down. Hands to the mat, off your right knee. And then three little pulses, up and down with the hips, just to get spacious. Last one. Use your inhale, inner thighs hug together, hips lift. Exhale, pyramid pose, sink down. Halfway lift, peek forward. Ten toes long, edge of mat, wide legged forward. Hands to earth, half lift. Ten toes to the back of your mat, easy twist. Left hand stays down, right arm to the sky, hold. Press into that right foot to stabilize. Keep the arms open, lift the chest, right arm behind, left in front, sink down. Flip your left palm, fingertips to sky. So that big windmill of the arms. And as you do, your right toes turn in, your left toes turn to the front, left forearm to thigh, right arm reaches overhead, side angle. Inhale, up and over, reverse your warrior. Exhale, windmill your hands. Three-legged dog, minimum drag of your left foot. Foot down or foot can stay lifted. Rock forward to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Up dog, cobra if you're modifying. Ripple it back, downward facing dog. So we're going to do that two more times on each side. It's going to get a little quick and dynamic, so feel free to skip out the chaturangas if it becomes too strong for you. 
One movement, one breath. Inhale, float your right leg. Exhale, through between your hands. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, little pulse. Inhale, hips up. Exhale, back and fold. Halfway lift, breath in. Wide-legged fold, long edge of mat, breath out. Halfway lift, breath in, fingertips down. Easy twist, back of mat, breath out. Lift the chest, big open arm twist, breath in. Flip that front palm, reverse. Find the big journey, windmill the hands. Side angle to the front, right toes forward. Up and over, reverse your warrior, huge swoop. Windmill the hands to the mat. Down dog, three-legged or two. Four. <laughs> Rock forward into plank. Chaturanga, exhale. Inhale for up dog. Exhale, downward dog. Left leg to lift, right away, no pause. Through between your hands. Come to your fingertips, little pulse, just once. Hips up and back, sink down, fold. Half away, lift, peek forward. Long edge of mat, let it go. Half lift, peek forward. Easy twist to the back, left hand down, right arm up. Press into your right foot, lift the chest, right arm reaches back, left forward. Flip that left palm, reverse, inhale. Big wimble of the arms. Right toes turn in, left turn out, side angle to the front. Up and over, warrior two, reverse. Wimble the hands, three-legged dog. Option foot up or down, rock forward, chaturanga. Heart opens, up dog. Take it back, down dog. One more round, right leg to lift, inhale. Through between your hands, breath out. One pulse. Hips up and back. Half away lift, long spine. Ten toes, long edge of mat, bow in. Half away lift, long spine. Ten toes to the back, easy twist, left hand up. Lift the torso, open arm twist. Flip the right palm, reverse. Big windmill of the arm, side angle to the front. Up and over, reverse warrior. Hands windmill to the earth. Three-legged dog or down dog. Rock forward to plank. Find your flow. Chaturanga if you're still taking them, or just pause in down dog if it's too strong. Roll it back, down dog. Last side, left leg to lift, inhale. Through between your hands. Onto your fingertips, little pulse. Hips up and back, bow. Half away lift. Long edge of mat, bow in. Half away lift. To the back of the mat, easy twist. Right hand to the sky. Lift the torso, open arm twist to the right. Flip the left palm, reverse. Wimble the arms all the way back to the front side angle. Flip the feet. Up and over, reverse warrior. Wimble the hands. Three-legged dog. Rock forward. High to low, chaturanga. Up dog, perhaps cobra. And down dog, take it back. Take a full breath in here. Stay for the exhale. Float your right leg. Step it through between your hands. Ten toes point forward, rise up for crescent lunge. 
Deep bend in the right knee. Hug the front ribs in. Scoop the low belly up. Take a big breath in here. Exhale, open on out, warrior two. Left toes, long edge of mat. Take a breath in here. Right forearm to thigh, left arm overhead. So there's going to be some options here. Option one, stay here. It's going to be a long hold. It'll get tricky. Option two, right fingertips to the inside of the right foot. Option three, left arm round the low back. <laughs> option four, take a bind. And of course, finally, option five, if you're happy in your bind, look to your right foot. Big step, left foot, top of mat, keeping your bind. Press into your left foot, come to stand with your right knee to your chest, and then maybe even straighten your right leg for bird of paradise. Wherever you are, take one more full breath. If you're in your bird, you need to reverse out the same way as you came in, right foot down, left goes back. Together we release the bind, reverse triangle pose, straighten the right leg, come out of the hip, it'll feel heavenly. Lift your right toes, take them to the long edge of mat. As you bow, reach your right arm towards your left foot or leg, and then lift the left arm to the ceiling, twisting. Watch the front of the right hip doesn't roll forward. Big breath in. As you exhale, 10 toes to the back of your mat, drop your right knee down, reach for the ceiling, inhale, keep your right toes tucked. Bring your palms to prayer, hook your right elbow to the outside of your left knee, outside. Option to stay or come off your right knee. Option to stay or open the arms. Some of you might even take a reverse bind here. It's a little tricky. Last breath. Whatever variation you're in, reverse this. Swoop your right arm to the sky. As you exhale, hands windmill to the ground. Downward facing dog. Walk your hands straight back to meet your feet at the back of the mat. As you inhale all the way to stand, reach for the ceiling. Exhale, hands to heart. Press down into your left foot, bring your right knee to your chest. So again, a few options. You can interlace hands front of right shin, underneath the thigh. If you have under the thigh, maybe straighten the leg. Or final offering, right fingers will grab the right big toe. Left hand can go to hip. If you have the big toe, perhaps you want to straighten the right leg in front of you, really drawing that right shoulder back. Left arm will reach high. Final offering, if it feels good, take the right leg out to the side. And you can do that with a bent knee as well. Find one more breath here. Bring your right leg forward, knee bent or straight. Swap hands. Take your left hand to the outside of the right foot or the right shin. Reach your right arm behind you as you twist, maybe even looking back. Absolutely okay to have the knee bent. Absolutely okay to be holding the shin. Last breath. Release the twist. Both hands either to foot or to shin, whatever you have. And you're coming down to the ground, so start to come down. Kick your right leg out in front of you. You'll need your fingertips to the mat as you come into pistol squat. So your left foot is down to the ground, sole of foot down, heel to right leg long. If this is too strong, just lower the bum down towards the ground. Reach your left hand forward inside that left knee, catch the inside of the right foot, and pick your right foot back up, even if your bum is down. And you can use your right hand, lean forward, and then pick your bum back up off the ground. Maybe here is where you stay, 
or maybe you balance just on your left foot and reach your right arm forward as well, holding onto the right foot, full pistol squat. One more breath wherever you're at. This is strong. Try and keep your right foot lifted, hands come down to the mat, scoop your right foot up and back, standing splits, right leg to the sky. Last breath. Keep your right leg lifted. Walk your hands forward, three-legged dog. Bring your right knee to your nose, tiger curl. Take it back, three-point dog. Right knee, right shoulder, all the way. Take it back, three-point dog. Right knee, left elbow. Option, extend your right leg off the side of the mat, pick up your left hand, fall in triangle, look up. The left hand will come down, right leg to the sky, three-legged dog. Land your right foot to the mat, down dog. Left leg to lift, inhale. Through between your hands, rise on up, crescent lunge. Stay sinking. Take a big breath in here. Exhale, open out, warrior two. Drop your left forearm to the thigh, right arm overhead. So here we are again with all the options. You can stay here. Left fingertips to mat. Right arm round the low back. Left arm underneath the thigh, grabbing the fingertips. Stay, or look to the left foot, big step, right foot to the top. Press into your right foot, come to stand with your left leg in the bind. Maybe left leg straightens, bird of paradise. Full breath in. Birds coming out exactly as you came in, keeping the bind, left foot lands, right steps back. All together, Release, reverse triangle, left leg is straight. Left toes lift, long edge of mat. As you bow with your left hand coming down to somewhere on your right leg or your right foot. Inhale for a half lift, right arm to the sky, look up. Full breath in. Stay for the breath out. Release the right hand down, 10 toes, turn back to the original front of your mat, left knee lands, reach for the ceiling, inhale. Hands come through heart, left elbow to the outside of your right knee. Option stay or come off that left knee. Option stay or open the arms or come in for a bind, completely your choice. Let's take one more breath here. As you inhale, press into your right foot, sweep your left arm to the sky. As you exhale, windmill your hands, step back, down dog. Walk your hands straight back to meet your feet. Breath in all the way to stand. Breath out, hands come down to heart. Close your eyes and just take a moment. Bring your left knee to your chest, left knee. You can stay here, hands to shin, underneath the leg, or left fingertips can grab your left big toe. If you have your big toe, maybe straighten the left leg out in front of you shoulder draws back. If you have your shin, again, keep the shoulder drawing back. Reach your right arm to the ceiling on your inhale. Perhaps left leg comes wide, right arm goes wide to the breath out. Maybe you even look to your right hand. Left knee will come to center or foot, right arm up. 
And then change hands. Right hand will grab the outside of your left shin or your left foot. Left arm will unpeel behind you. One more big breath in. Exhale, square the chest. You will be coming down, so send your left leg along as you bend into your right. Come all the way down. Fingertips will land. Maybe your bum lands on the ground. Maybe you can keep it up off the ground. I'll show you with it down. Have the sole of your right foot on the ground. Heel hugs in towards the buttock. Reach your right arm forward for your left foot and then lift your left leg off the ground. Press into your left hand and your right foot. Rock your weight forward. You have to lean forward to this. And then maybe you just stay here. Perfect. Maybe you try your balance and you reach your left arm forward as well into your full pistol squat. Take another two breaths here. It's very hard. One more. Hands come down. Left knee to chest, roll over those right toes, left leg to the sky, standing splits. Just briefly, keep your left leg up as you walk your hands forward, three-legged dog. Left knee to nose, tiger curl, hug in, kick it back. Left knee, left shoulder, rock your weight forward, make contact. Kick it back. Left knee to right elbow, extend the leg off the side of the mat. Maybe pick up your right hand, fallen triangle. Right hand goes down, left leg to the sky, three point dog. Left foot comes down, rock forward into plank. And for the last time, Chaturanga Dandasana. Heart opens, up dog. Roll it back. And downward dog. Take your right knee behind your right wrist, like you're coming for pigeon pose, toes to the left. But we're not. Drop straight to the right hip and swing your left leg around so you're here in your cross leg. Reach your arms to the ceiling, inhale, exhale, fold forward, head can be heavy. And just stay down there for a few breaths, settle on in. Look forward with the gaze, float the hands, but keep them low. Press into your seat, rise, fingertips to ceiling. Release your left leg out wide, top corner of mat, sole of right foot stays to the inner left thigh. Spin your chest to your left foot, toes draw back. Start to fold down the length of your left leg, perhaps right arm reaches for the outside of the foot. sequence here as you inhale rise up lift that right arm exhale right hand to the mat behind you press into your right hand lift the hips swoop the left arm back settle the buttocks back down and don't fold down your left leg rather twist to the left left hand behind you right hand to the outside of the left leg Stay a little in this twist. Keep your left hand behind you. Release the sole of the right foot to the mat knee as high. And then press into that left hand. Pick up the hips. For a wild thing. It's a choice. You can just stay in the seated twist. Big breath in. 
Exhale, lower the buttocks down. Drop that right knee back wide and then take a twist over to your right. Full breath in. Exhale, release the twist. Sweep your left leg all the way behind you for pigeon pose. When you get there, you can sink on in. Three more breaths here. Last breath here. Press into your hands, lift the chest. And drop to your right hip. Sweep that left leg all the way up and over. Sole of foot comes to the outside of the right foot, the right thigh. Take your left fingertips behind you. Reach the right arm to the ceiling. Look up, inhale. And then go ahead and twist towards the left. Right elbow will hook to the outside of the thigh. Perhaps you look back. Remember, whenever we're twisting, long spine first and then rotate. So lengthen through the crown first before you twist. Big breath in. Exhale, release your twist. Drop both hands up and over to the right. Bow down. Rise that back up and find your way back into your cross leg, right leg in front of left this time and fold forward. Look to the hands but stay low. Float the hands but stay low. Press into your seat, reach the fingertips to the sky. Release the right leg out to the side, sole of left foot, inner right thigh. Spin your chest to your right foot. As you exhale, fold down your right leg, maybe grabbing the foot, maybe left hand to the outside of the leg. A few choices there. One more breath here. As you inhale to rise up, reach your left arm to the sky. Drop your left hand behind you, press into the hand, pick up the hips, stargazer, right arm reaches back, look to the sky. As you exhale, release the buttocks, Find a twist to the right, right arm behind, left hand to the outside of the right knee. You can for sure stay here or keep your right arm behind you. Bring the sole of the left foot to the mat. Press into the sole of the left foot, press into the right hand, lift the hips, drop the head for wild thing. Big breath in. Those who took wild thing, come on, sit that back down. Drop that left knee wide. Take a twist to the left. Release twist to center as you swing your right leg behind you. Pigeon pose. Settle on down. Take another three breaths here in your pigeon. A 
last one. Walk the hands back in towards you. Drop to your left hip. Sweep that right leg all the way up and over, sole of foot outside your left thigh. Right hand behind you, left arm to the ceiling, reach, grow tall, and then find your twist, hook elbow to thigh. Perhaps you look back, notice if the right shoulder is hooked up towards the ear and drop it away. I like to narrow the shoulder blades a little bit here, I find that helpful. Take a big breath in. Exhale, release your twist, both hands to the left, bow down. Inhale, pick up. Both hands behind you as you unravel your feet, come into supported Navasana. You can straighten the legs if that feels good. You can release the arms if that feels good. Take a full breath in here. And as you exhale, there's a slow delivery of the back of your body all the way down to your yoga mat. Take a bend into your knees and then hug the knees in towards the chest. Option one, happy baby, arms inside knees, hands outside of feet, heels to ceiling, toes towards the face as you draw the knees to the armpits and down. Option two, shoulder stand. So if you have any issues with your neck or your shoulders, please don't take this, stay with happy baby. If you're taking shoulder stand, pick up your hips, support your low back with your hands, heels of hands, ribs, fingertips to ceiling as you send the legs up high. Try not to move the neck or the head as you're here. Keep the core engaged. You can point the toes, you can flex the feet, you can do something between the two. Continue to breathe into the belly. You can stay here if you're enjoying it. You can start to take the toes overhead behind you for halasana, for plow. Maybe they reach the ground, maybe not. If they don't reach the ground, stay holding the back. If they do reach the ground, you're welcome to release the hands from the back and interlace the hands, taking the fists long down the mat. Maybe you also, or instead, reach the arms behind you and grab your feet. Let's take one more breath here. If your arms are anywhere but, release the hands and rest the palms down long down your mat. I want your palms fairly close to each other. Take a big breath in. As you exhale ever so slowly, one vertebra at a time, roll the back body down towards the mat. Try and land your buttocks on top of the back of your hands. And as the legs come down, hug the elbows into your side, press into your palms and your forearms, puff the chest to the ceiling, spine lifts, crown draws back. The legs can stay floating, that is quite strong. If it's too much for you, pop your legs down. Take a full breath in. Stay for the breath out. Carefully slide the head back from underneath you, release the hands from beneath, interlace the hands behind the head and hold the weight of the head in your hands. And then use your arms to draw your chin to your chest, just stretch out the back of the neck. Big breath in. Exhale, release the head down. If you happen to still be in happy baby, hug your knees to your chest, little rocks side to side. If you're already on your back, release your arms along by your sides, palms face up. 
those with knees to chest. When you feel ready to let the legs go long down the mat into Shavasana, go ahead and do. Take a moment to set your body up in Shavasana. Be comfortable. I like to separate my feet as wide as the mat, my arms out to the side a bit. Check in that there's any areas of tension and if you can, release them, do so. And just enjoy all the sensations on show in your body. Stay in Shavasana as long as you wish, five minutes at least. Thank you for practicing with me today. Namaste.